Hey there. Relationships are like gardens. They need care, nurturing, and attention to thrive. But what exactly does that look like in everyday life? Many people think they kind of know by default and yet so many relationships fall apart because they lack what it needs for the garden to grow. Well, today we're going to talk about the four most important ways to take care of your relationship garden. These are four pillars that help create a strong and lasting bond between the partners. Whether you are just starting out in a new relationship or have been in one for years, perhaps not as satisfying as you hope for it to be, these will definitely help you out. So let's dive in. First ingredient, attention. Attention is the foundation of any relationship. Yeah, obvious. When we give someone our full attention, we're saying, you matter to me. This doesn't mean being together 24-7 or dropping everything at a moment's notice unless you actually do have to do that. <laughs> it's about being present when you are together. So put down your phone, make eye contact, listen, listen not just to respond but to create a connection to really hear what they're trying to tell you emotionally. It's easy to get caught up in our own lives and forget to check in with the other person. But even small moments of focused attention go a long way in building trust and connection. Maybe it's as simple as asking how their day was and actually listening to them or making time to have coffee in the morning, quietly enjoying each other's company. But most definitely, giving your partner your full, undivided attention when they need it, when they ask for it. Maybe they're in an emotional situation. Maybe they need your advice. Maybe they just need to feel closer to you. Not just giving them your attention when it's convenient for you or when you want something from them. Suddenly you become very attentive. Number two, affection. Affection is the outward expression of the way you love them on the inside. It's those little gestures that show the person you care about them, whether that's through words, through physical touch or through actions of service. For some, affection means holding hands. For others, it means leaving cute notes in their lunch bag or on the fridge before you head out. So physical affection, including kissing, hugging, cuddling, sitting next to each other, just the physical closeness, it's the most obvious one, but also verbal affection where um, you compliment the other person. You send them sweet texts or just saying I love you or, you know, you can also send them naughty texts for if that's what they like. <laughs> you remind them that you care about them. Um, the the small, small, meaningful actions bringing chocolates home or buying a book and saying, hey, you know, I saw this in the store. I thought about you and your interests in blah, 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 and I brought it for you. Pro tip, learn how your partner expresses and receives affection. It's their love language. Is it through touch, words, acts of service? Most people is a mixture of all three, but one is more predominant. Once you understand, you can better meet their needs. So you can be affectionate in the way they will feel it the most. Three, acceptance. So acceptance means loving your partner for who they are, truly are, not who you hope they will become, or for what they can provide. It's about embracing both the great and not so great parts of them. 
because every person has flaws. You have flaws, quirks, and habits, and healthy relationships thrive when both partners feel accepted as their authentic selves. Of course, this does not mean ignoring harmful behaviors, but it does mean giving space for growth and for the other person to be who they are without feeling like they're walking on eggshells all the time because you criticize them. When people feel accepted, they feel secure. And that security fosters deep emotional connection and intimacy. So acceptance creates a safe space where both of you can be vulnerable, real, even though you're imperfect, without fear of rejection or criticism. When you have a problem with something your partner does, you address the problem, the behavior, and do not attack their character. You tell them, I have a problem with X, not you're a loser. <laughs> so that's kind of a simple example, but it's what usually happens. You're so clumsy instead of, I don't like the way you walk inside with the muddy shoes. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> Number four, appreciation. Appreciation is about recognizing and acknowledging, acknowledging your partner's efforts, qualities, contributions. In long-term relationships, it's super easy to take each other for granted. You just get used to your partner making you coffee every morning. You get used to them washing your car or whatever. You get used to dinner being on the table as soon as you get home. But a simple thank you or acknowledging something they've done, no matter how small, reinforces the bond between you. Appreciation isn't just about big gestures. Oh, you threw a massive birthday party for me. It's about noticing the little things, thinking, thanking them for cooking dinners, appreciating the way they make you laugh, or just telling them, that they're doing a great job. Even if life is a little chaotic, your appreciation affirms them and is actually a positive reinforcement for them. Everyone likes being appreciated. No one likes being taken for granted. They will continue to do nice things for you, to be considerate, if they feel appreciated because their love for you will grow. So these are what I call the four A's of healthy relationships. Attention, affection, acceptance, and appreciation because they create a foundation that allows love to grow and deepen over time. Remember, no relationship is perfect, but practicing these four A's can make all the difference. What's one A you feel could use more focus in your relationship? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more relationship advice from Life Intelligence. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, love is in the little things. Thanks for watching.